one of the major problem in your spiritual journey you feel you will experience is that a poor willpower very poor willpower many yoga teachers healers life coaches they cannot get what they want or develop their spiritual practice also <coughs> just because they themselves have very poor willpower also your student what happens with the student is that when your student come to your workshop and they do the practice that we all feel so good so joyful you know so easy and this can be a metaphoric example like if you have seen a bucket imagine a bucket which has hundreds of holes in it many many holes in it you know and if you have well in india we have well and we put the bucket down with the rope bucket go down we fill the water and then slowly slowly we bring the bucket up and then we get the water so imagine the bucket with a hundred roll is like your willpower and when we put the bucket into the well is when the bucket is full in the well it's like when you go to the workshop training seminar you feel so good and you feel yes i'm going to change my life i'm going to transform i'm going to stop complaining do this or that don't waste my life don't waste time but when they leave the workshop when they go back to their real world to their city to their job again the drama of the mind come again the drama of the body come again you start to get lazy and you do what you don't want to do in life why because either your mind or body has become the master you are not the master now mind or body has become the master body is lazy or mind loves the drama of exterior you know it interests in something which is not really important in your life you want to practice and develop your path but your mind is more interested in gossip in social media in other people's life it simply means your mind is a master or you want to lose weight and your body don't love that you wake up lazy you don't do the exercises it means body is a master how to come back that you are the master the true master was you always so the this technique what i give you now is to bring the master back to the real position and when the master come back to real position means you as a being as a soul then body or mind surrenders so i'll give you a tool it's very uh, tantric meditation it's from hatha yoga kriya you know so this tool may not be very pleasant may not give you very pleasant experience but it can change your life it can develop the will power how to do this technique for this technique you have to have a one particular statement what serves you in your life a statement for example a statement for me is that i want to go deeper into my meditation if i go deep into my meditation i understand people better i understand myself better i understand the conditions the environment better i understand people then i can love people i understand myself and others so i can care about others so simple tool that going deeper in my meditation gives me many things so this is my <coughs> statement so you have to have a positive statement this is not affirmation so this is like what you want more you want to accept yourself you want to love yourself you want to take care of yourself if this is your statement means first you need to find your statement and then when you have your statement then i'll show you the practice one important point remark this cannot be that i want to stop smoking or shouting or being angry or being lazy what is the opposite of that you choose as a statement
So for example, if you have problem with self-love and love with others, so your statement one has to be, I, w I accept and love myself. If you have problems with your body, I accept and love my body. And then how should be the practice? The practice has to be done by lying down in Shavasana. So you can lie down in Shavasana like this. Your whole body is relaxed and remember your statement. <clears throat> 